Hello and welcome guys. Today we are making Begami Murk Pulao. Uh, so for the ingredients first, we're going to require uh, chicken legs here. Uh, you can use whichever pieces you have available. We are using chicken legs. We also have uh, white rice, which we've cooked 50 to 60 percent. It's better to cook it a little bit um, less rather than more because otherwise it might just become a bit soggy. And we've also done this so that, you know, we don't want to have in the like taking the extra starch. So we've gotten rid of the starch here as well. Besides that, we have yogurt here, onions, uh, salt, sugar, ginger, garlic paste, uh, red chili powder, some saffron in milk. Uh, as you can see, we also have uh, whole spices here, a bay leaf and uh, some homemade garam masala. That's all what we're going to need for the Begami Murt Pulao. Let's just get started. Step one here, guys, would be to marinate the chicken and we're just going to use yogurt for the step. We're going to marinate this for around uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So we'll leave it aside now for uh, 15 minutes, guys. There's no need to uh, refrigerate it. And after 15 minutes, we'll start the main cooking process. The next step here, guys, is to take a pan and add in one tablespoon of uh, vegetable oil and one tablespoon of uh, ghee. Let's add in the whole spices here. After about 30 seconds, uh, we can just hear the shajira crackling. At this point, we'll add in the onions. And uh, saute the onions until they become golden brown. As you can see, the onions have started to take a brown color. At this stage, we'll add in the ginger garlic paste and continue sauteing until the raw smell of the ginger garlic is no longer there. And now we're going to add in the sugar. Mix everything well. And also add in the red chili powder. Continue mixing. You might use a little bit of water here just to prevent the spices from burning and continue braising. And once the oil is releasing from the sides, you would want to add in the chicken at this stage. And we're going to just uh, continue mixing everything well. We're now going to cover and cook the chicken um, until the chicken is completely done. After five minutes, we'll just add in some salt here and further mix. As you can see, the chicken is uh, not done yet. We've maintained the flame at medium. As you can see, there's a lot of water released from the chicken and the yogurt. And now we're going to cover and cook until the chicken is completely done. So after 10 minutes, guys, uh, as you can see, the chicken is uh, completely cooked. And at this stage, add the rice here. But before that, we've just uh, switched off the flame temporarily. Add in the rice, remembering that it was um, half cooked. We're also going to add in the saffron and milk that we set aside. And after that, just give everything a nice mix. Once mixed, we are just going to add in a um, half cup of water and mix for one more time. We're going to keep the flame at low. Once mixed, just check for the salt once. And if you're happy with the salt, we can just cover it back on with the lid and uh, cook on a low flame for around uh, 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, guys, uh, 
as you can see it seems like our begami murk pulao is completely done we're just going to add in uh, some ghee and our homemade garam masala and we've now mixed everything well our begami murk pulao is ready to be served our begami murk pulao is now absolutely ready and it is served. It just uh, smells stunning and we're pretty sure it's going to taste amazing as well. Enjoy!